This is the upstairs of the Elks Club. You want to know what a beautiful place this is and why it's a crime that they've let it go for so long and not done any work up here. Look at these ceilings. This building was built, I believe, 1902. It has the pressed tin ceiling. There's some rooms in here. A little loo in there. A closet. The windows are in really bad shape. But this room is, <laughs> that ain't code. But look at this room. It is just stunning. It's got some damage up there from water damage. It's so patched it a bit. Look at the corner pieces. I would love to see this building actually restored. It does not need to be a children's museum. It actually needs to be an event space or a restaurant. And the ceiling needs to be preserved and kept in its original state, despite the leaks and the water damage, because it needs to be cared for. Look at that beautiful ceiling, even though it's got a big old gaping hole in it. And these old asbestos tiles on the floor. There's a piece that goes over there. See it? Anyways, this is a fabulous building and there is no way in the world it should be a children's museum. This is where we all learn to dance. This is where cotillion lessons were, where we learned to set a proper table. And we learned to be young ladies and gentlemen in Columbus of the 1960s and 70s. What a fabulous place. Definitely it should be preserved, but not as a children's museum. So who's gonna buy it and turn it into an event space? It has a full professional kitchen in it. Please, somebody save this building from the CBB and further decline.